Well, this is a very, very big moment in the, this young man's career. His heart will be battering around that slender rib cage, and his mind will be wandering. But at the moment, he looks a picture of concentration as Gavazzi sweeps past uh, Carboni into second place. And Gavazzi, well, can he even see Lafay? Because he's closing fast. But I think there's the Flamme Rouge. That's one kilometre to go to Victor Lafay. Uh, there's a 20 second gap, but it is coming down. He's got to just hold it all together, Victor Lafay, uh, for the next 100, 200 metres before the road just flattens out a little bit. He'll be helped by a tailwind as well in the last couple of hundred metres. Yeah, meanwhile, at uh, five minutes plus behind, it is Mati Mohoric who takes things up. Fascinating stuff here. The man from Lyon, look, he's got a daylight, a clear, clear daylight. He's into the narrow streets now here at Guardia San Framondi. What a ride it's been by this Frenchman. Didn't do much to her, didn't follow any of those big moves, just waited, waited, That's waited for his win. chosen terrain. That's how you Smart win. and strong. <laughs> this is it. No, it's purposefully kind of waited for the right time to go. One attack. And he's in the winning position. Economical, poised and purposeful. A great ride from Victor Lafay, who's out of sight. Gavazzi won't be able to get him. 18 seconds. That's not coming back. Kofidis are going to taste victory here on stage eight. No doubt about that. The French team who come to the Giro d'Italia infrequently in their history since 1997. This team has only won twice, going back to 2006 when Rick Verbrugge won for them. And over 11 years ago, a win by Damien Monnier, Cyril Guimard... And the general manager, Cedric Vasser, will be punching the air with delight. This is homegrown talent, as you say. A man born and bred in Lyon went through the Chambéry feeder team into the senior ranks, won l'étape du tour to make a name for himself. They signed him in 2018. They knew they were signing a good one, but did they know quite how good he was going to be? He turns and heads for home. He's got enough time in the bank to enjoy this and celebrate it. Now he raises a fist, and the Tifosi here cheer on a Frenchman who is going to take victory in their hometown. Stage eight goes to France. It goes to Kofidis, and now with 50 metres remaining, he can freewheel, he can point to his team name, he can salute the crowd and celebrate and savour the moment when Victor Lafay became a Grand Tour stage winner.